quiet now. My husband's sleeping. Just gotta. Husband's sleeping. Flu that's been going around. My ass. He has COVID, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Back for Blood, the only game you can safely throw propane at your friends. Bro, 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 first day cabinet. I'm not gonna find one of those in the field, cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> While you can do damage to your teammates on the harder difficulties, playing on easy and sending your friends flying is one of the most amusing things to watch. That's a good spot for it. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> While this game is very similar to Left 4 Dead, because it was made by the same company, this game is also very different from Left 4 Dead, with features like sprinting, vaulting, stamina, aiming down sights, weapon attachments, weapon levels, active cards that you get to choose at the beginning of each level, and corruption cards that you can't choose at the beginning of each level. When choosing your active card, make sure to look at the buffs and debuffs the cards have. You could carry a lot of ammo but not be able to carry anything to heal yourself with. Or you could boost your use speed by 125%, but have a chance to see nothing but purple whenever you take damage. Oh, I'm purple again, man! I don't know how you turn purple. I've not <laughs> seen purple once. You thought the sudden flash of purple was strong enough to scare you? Try getting manhandled by something straight from your nightmares, kid. Thank you. <laughs> what was that scream? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I can't tell if you were feared or turned on. Uh, no, it was choking him. It was a little bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> or carrying propane you want to throw your friends in a thick mist. Oh my god! That bitch screaming in my ear! Holy shit. Or even mindlessly looting while a tall boy prepares a double wide surprise right behind you. Oh, the goddamn birds, man! <laughs> oh my god! Whatever you do in Back for Blood, do not get in the way of a breaker. Breaker? Guy way down there? Where's the Big boy? Oh, breaker? <laughs> yes, those things are actually called tall boys. Also, boomers are now called exploders, spitters and smokers are combined into one called stingers, and hunters are now these wall-bound zombies called sleepers. Don't sleep on the sleepers because they will not sleep on you when you are within striking distance. Yeah, I'm the Canadians. Mm -hmm. The characters in this game are actually- Who cares? Holly is the best and she can kick any one of your asses and you better not disrespect her in the comments. Friendly fire! Shut up, bitch. Hey, don't you talk to Holly like that, man! <laughs> Bro. Get out from behind your- <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, some of her voice lines are a little cheesy and annoying. <laughs> Holly, you're so quirky. <laughs> but she has really valid questions like where did the phrase shooting fish in a barrel come from? I wonder yep. what he was using to shoot them. I mean, a shotgun would have destroyed the barrel, and I feel a pistol would have been too fiddly. Can this bitch shut, shut up? Shut the fuck up! There's a part in this game where you can activate a jukebox and distract zombies while the survivors you saved in the prior level try to escape, and these zombies will constantly start flooding into the bar. If you're not prepared properly, you'll get overrun like we did in our first try. No. Bruh. Oh, man. I'm asking them. Oh, that's <laughs> hard as fuck, bruh. We're on, uh, the easiest mode, too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> but with some team coordination, 400 rounds for an RPK, and 500 feet of razor wire, we were finally able to defend the bar better than a professional Rainbow Six Siege team. Oh, we're done. Get the fuck out of here. Get the Humvee. Get in the Humvee. That wasn't that bad after we set everything up. Apparently Back for Blood has an anti-cheat system, which makes sense for the PvP game mode, but not really for the rest of the game. I think it's funny that this game has an anti-cheat. <laughs> and Warzone doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. What are you gonna cheat on? Like the fucking PvP? It's like putting anti-cheat on Fallout 4. <laughs> it's funny that they worry about hackers in the game while they have a serious head glitch issue. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> the guns in Bag for Blood can only be described with food. No, this part is not sponsored by Doug Doug, but if he was here, he would be happy. All of the guns in Bag for Blood are like a plain cheeseburger. Bun, patty, cheese, and then bun again. Four layers to put four different ingredients on. And your ingredients consist of barrel attachments. You can put on a fat glop of mustard suppressor. <laughs> Or you could go for the long dog ketchup barrel. The magazine is the healthy lettuce or juicy tomato. You don't need it, but it's there if you want. The stock acts as a bun. You want a toasted bun with a fast ADS feed? Or do you want a soft sesame seed bun with increased weapon swap speed? Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! SpongeBob, careful! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! And finally, the main reason to eat the burger, the cheese. A sharp cheddar reflex sight on your shotgun burger is nice. But putting a shredded Parmesan sniper scope on your fire grilled shotgun burger can almost ruin your experience. Now don't get me wrong, it works, but it doesn't work the best. Whoa! Oh my God. Damn. Now I would go into more detail about the bosses and the PvP mode, but for right now, that'll be the end of it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. It helps let me know that I'm making good content for you guys. And if it was so good, you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. I have not fully announced it here, but essentially all my content is going to be on YouTube. I have this main channel, which I'll upload videos like this, and I'll even stream once in a while for you guys. And on top of that, if you go over to the channel Cozy2, you can get clips, TikToks, whatever. It's kind of like a Finsta, but for YouTube. Do people still have Finstas? If so, grow up. Just make a second YouTube channel. <laughs>